Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, Bear's gonna help me on this video today Apparently and the goats are gonna knock the tripod over. This is gonna be an awesome little cluster Today's video we're gonna talk about the top three ways that you can make money raising goats Today's video is a collaboration between myself and my good buddy Dutch over at Keeping It Dutch. My video is going to be the top three ways that I think you could make money from goats on your farm. And then Dutch's video is going to be his top three ways that you could make money with sheep on your farm. So, after you watch my video, be sure to go check out Keeping It Dutch. I'll leave a link to his video up here and in the description box down below. Go check Dutch out. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Huh, Bear? Are you gonna do the talking today? You gonna do the talking on this one? It's like right up in my grill. Okay, so these are not scientifically proven ways of making money on your farm, but these are my top three tips, my top three ways that I think you could turn a profit using goats on your property. So, there's a couple different routes you can go. You can either go the meat goat route or the dairy goat route. Now, I prefer to go the meat goat route. I'm not into the whole dairy goat world. I just don't personally have time for it, but that doesn't mean that you can't make money with dairy goats. So we'll go with number three first, and let's start with a YouTube channel, a Facebook page, website, the whole bit. These people are amazing, and I think if you go check them out, you'll see that you can really turn a profit with dairy goats. And their channel, Facebook page, and website are called Goat Milk Stuff. Go look them up. Uh, literally, they've got like 170,000 followers on Facebook. These people are amazing. They've got a herd of dairy goats. Um, I haven't really researched them in a while. I want to say they've got bear. You better not knock my tripod over, buddy. Okay. I want to say they've got alpine goats, alpine dairy goats, but these people are amazing. They milk their goats. They've got an unbelievable setup. Their barn is amazing. Their house is amazing. Everything, everything about them is perfect. A uh, large family. They've got a husband and wife and several kids, but they milk their goats, but they don't necessarily do it to sell milk. And that's the key there because you've got to really, really dude, I mean, I can't get through this with you in my face, buddy. Uh, so what I was saying was, the key there is is they use their milk to make other products. Bear, I'm gonna get very mad at you if you knock my tripod over. Who's in charge back there? I guess we shall see. So anyways, goat milk stuff. These people do an amazing job of marketing their products. And I'll get more into that in a little bit. But they're a dairy goat operation, but they don't sell milk. They sell soap primarily. They've got a whole line of products, but their main goal is to sell soap, goat milk soap. And that's because a lot of states have strict regulations on dairies and what you can and can't do. And it can be very expensive to get set up to where you can sell goat milk legally. So a lot of people will use their goat milk to make another product that they can sell off the farm and not be quite as regulated. Uh, the people over at Goat Milk Stuff do an amazing job of, of making a product that appeals to a huge variety, a wide variety of people. So they sell multiple different scents of soaps and lip balms and just a whole world of products. So they're a perfect example of how you can make money with dairy goats but not actually be selling milk. So the second way that you can make money from selling goats would just be with a commercial meat goat herd. Now you're not going to be able to sell the goats for near as much as if you did it um, another way but you can make money selling commercial meat goats. So goat meat worldwide is probably still and has been for many years the number one consumed meat in the world. Now in the United States we're not quite as familiar with with eating goats as a lot of other places around the world. 
but it is growing in popularity in the United States because of our huge growth of Hispanic and Middle Eastern popula populations. Uh, they eat a lot of goat meat and we're actually going to be butchering a few this year. I've eaten goat. It actually really tastes really good. It's very lean. There's not near as much fat on a goat as there is on beef. So it's a very healthy meat. As I was saying though, you can take a commercial goat herd and, and turn that into a profit. But in order to do that, you're going to have to have quite a bit of land and you're going to want your goats to to use their to utilize that natural forage as efficiently as possible you don't want to be feeding them as much grain and you don't want to be giving them too much hay because it's going to cut into your profits a commercial goat herd you're not going to be selling for as much per pound but i really believe if you got out there and you did a good job of marketing which same thing with goat milk stuff. If you get out and you work to market your product, you can sell it for more. As I was saying, in the United States, a lot of people aren't familiar with goat meat. What you could do personally is go out and get you a good quality commercial goat, goat herd started, have a few butchered, and let your friends and family try that meat. What you have to watch with commercial goats and meat goats in general is if you're gonna wanna sell meat, in order, like for me personally in Oklahoma, I couldn't go out and butcher, have my animals butchered and, and sell you five pounds of hamburger meat unless I went to a USDA inspected meat processing facility. And as far as I know of, there's only one or two in Oklahoma and they're at least three hours from where I live. So that's not a feasible option. But what you can do is sell the live animal. So if you did a good job of marketing your product to your friends and family, and that kind of that word kind of spread that you had you know really good high quality you know, maybe grass-fed non-gmo whatever people are looking for in your area a good quality product what you can do is raise those animals and sell them either live on the hoof or uh, you know off the farm to where where the people come and pick it up or you could drop it off at a local meat processing facility We've got a lot of, you know, several in our area, places where, you know, a farmer, a farmer or a landowner can have their own animals butchered and processed. We just can't sell the individual cuts of meat using those processors. So what you can do is market your animal to your friends and family, sell them, and then you just drop it off at the processor and they go pick up their, their cuts of meat. They have it cut up however they want. So that's how you can make money with a commercial goat herd. I wouldn't recommend going, you know, their route of raising 20 goats and then just taking them all to an auction and selling. I've done that in the past. That's not the, the smartest way to make the most money per goat. If you do, it's all about marketing, just like with the goat milk stuff. Like I said, marketing is the key. So if you just go out and raise 50 goats and haul them to the sale, you're not gonna get as much as if you do a good job of marketing online through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all the social media avenues, market a good product and you'll be able to sell it for more profit. Okay, last but not least, the number one way that I think you can make money with goats on your property is with registered animals. So, you guys know that I raise Kikos. They're just a run-of-the-mill commercial mix, Kiko mix with boar, most of them. Some of them are, are close to full blood, but they're not registered. I don't raise registered animals, but I get so many questions about goats on my, on my YouTube channel, Instagram page, and Facebook page. People want to know how they can raise goats, how they can make the most money raising goats. Hang on, this is a problem. Hey, get out from under my tripod. Go on. <laughs> we gotta get her away or she'll knock you guys over here. So I don't personally, really? Can you take that thing somewhere else? I think it's loaded. Get back, get back. I don't personally raise registered animals, but I get so many questions from people wanting to know what's, how much are goats worth? How much should I be paying for goats? So I do a lot of you know, online research, trying to help people find the best price, what they should be paying in their area, things like that. I get so many questions about how much are goats worth? What should I pay? And the thing is, it really depends because I could take one of my commercial Kikos and try to sell it right next to somebody who has a really good website set up. They've got a really good bloodline of registered Kikos and they'll sell their goats easily for two to three times more than what I sell mine for. What's the matter, mama? Are you hungry? You wanna bite? 
you guys. I'm sitting on the feed bucket, so they want a little feed. <laughs> that doesn't mean my goats aren't worth anything, does it? My goats are worth a lot because they're good, friendly animals. But if they were registered, I'd be able to sell the same kids out of this goat right here for two to three times more than what I sell mine for now. All right. I got everybody all interested in coming over here. You girls are gonna have to get back. You're gonna knock my camera over. Get back. Get back, get back, get back. Get out from under my tripod. Whoa, that was close. So as I was saying, I think the best way that you could make the most money per goat is if you spend more money up front, get into the registered side of things, because people... Really? Thank you, Bear. People are willing to pay more for a registered animal. It's just the way it is. It's just the truth of life, whether it's goats, dogs, cattle, whatever it is. So get into the registered livestock world, and I promise you, you'll be able to make a lot more money per goat. You don't have to have as many on your farm to make the same amount of money as somebody who's just selling commercial goats. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve to it. You're gonna have to learn about genetics and which bloodlines are you know selling the best at the time which bloodlines are are doing the best in the in the registered goat world at the time because all that stuff changes but there are a lot of really good sources online and if you don't really think i'm right about this just just go online and type registered kikos or registered boar or registered nubians or registered alpines and i promise you you'll be blown away at the prices some people are charging for a big registered Kiko Billy or Kiko Buck, whatever you want to call them. Well, there you have it. There's my top three ways I think you could make money with goats on your farm. First, if you want to get into the dairy world, you can sell milk, but there's there's a lot of regulations. Look into those other products that you can make with your milk. Second, is get a whole bunch of commercial goats and market them very well. And third is registered animals. Get some registered goats. So that's just my top three ways of of helping you guys make money with goats on your farm. If you've got something on your list that, that uh, does better than my three suggestions, leave it in the comments section down below. I'm sure everybody would love to hear it. There's so many people out there that want to have goats on their farm or do have goats on their farm, but they want to turn a profit with it. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.